All right, guys, here we are at Chacho 2024 Industry Day with Jason. Yo. Jason, what are you excited about? Uh, Huxworks, Bushmaster. I mean, there's a bunch of stuff out here. Look, I'm ready to get to it. Same here, and I am really excited about the Genesis 12 gauge fully yep. automatic shotgun. I've never fired a fully automatic 12 gauge, so that's what I'm really here for. Okay. You wanna do it? Let's do it. Let's get to it. All right, guys, here we are at the LWRC's booth, and we've got Joe here with us. Joe, thanks for having us. Absolutely, my pleasure. And we've got Jason here with us. All right, so Joe, you got this new AR9. Just tell us all about it, man. Yeah, this is this is our new IC9. We're pretty excited about it. It's a, um, it's not terribly groundbreaking, but we've got a lot of cool features on it. Uh, it's a ring-delayed blowback system that we pair with our uh, hydraulic buffer system that makes for a really smooth shooting, very flat, low recoil impulse uh, gun. It's got our uh, one-piece bolt carrier design, kind of eliminate some uh, opportunity for failure there. Our, built on our IC platform, so it's completely ambidextrous from your safety selector, bolt catch, bolt release, mag release, charging handle, uh, all that good stuff. And we're running it on the, uh, on the Glock magazine platform. Uh, so it's a great, great little gun, a lot of fun to shoot. Like I said, very, very smooth, very soft, and just a great time. Yeah, I'm really interested about the uh, the hydraulic buffer system that you talked about, and that is uh, new on this gun. That is that is new on this gun. Uh, we partnered with uh, Kinshot uh, to use their hydraulic buffers. Uh, and when you get a chance to shoot it, you'll see. I mean, it's just super smooth. There's, you know, typically with a lot of the the pistol caliber carbines, you get a real kind of snappy yep. recoil. This is very smooth, very flat, kind of almost almost a straight back kind of push. That is awesome. So is this available uh, for the consumer right now? Or? Yeah, we're, uh, we're we're building them as we speak. We're going to still start hitting the shelves at the end of the first quarter here. Uh, retail price of $19.95. Uh, we're offering it initially in three different configurations. Uh, there will be, this This is our SBR configuration with an eight and a half inch barrel. We also have an eight and a half inch barrel pistol configuration and then a 16 inch carbine configuration. Wow, that is awesome. Just, just Glock compatible right now? Just, just Glock right now, yeah. Any future plans for I'm not, I, I can't speak to that, but maybe. Okay, okay. <laughs> All right, good deal. That is super cool. Well, you know what I say? I think we should just shoot and see how that hydraulic buffer system yeah, feels let's, like. Let's do it. Let's do it. All right, so we've got this nice Glock magazine. Just give it a try. Try to get that. You know what? You are not kidding about that hydraulic like, oh, yeah. So the recoil is there, right? but it's so dampening. Right. It's so good. Let's try this again. Man, I love this thing. It feels really good. Jason, you gotta try this, man. So, man, what, what do you think? Super Just, soft. Um, first of all, they're famed for their ambidextrous everything. Yeah. Full monolithic design, of course, right? Yep. So, I mean, you can't get any better than that. This is um, this is where it's at. I'm very excited about this. I hope you guys bring it to a sick platform as well. Ha! <laughs> sick platform. <laughs> to, to be determined. <laughs> right. But no, this is this is pretty awesome. Yeah. Absolutely. It's a good gun, man. Yeah. It's a good gun. I, I would love to check it out at Classic sometime soon, yeah. hopefully. Yeah, so Absolutely. We'll, we'll, we'll be in touch. Absolutely. Yeah, good deal. Well, Joe, Go really ahead. appreciate your time. Thank, Thank you, you very so much. much. Thank you, Jason. Absolutely. Absolutely. Thank you. Absolutely. Yeah. Ah. That's, a lot of, that's a lot of fun. Man. I like it. He's out, TV. John. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you did not bring a suit because man you don't need a suit for the gundies man when have you needed a suit for the gundies well i did last year because i did a red uh, red carpet thing i However, was on a red carpet with you sir i didn't have a suit on that's and right. neither did anybody You're else right. that was on the red carpet You're right. with you however okay however that was like a little what was that shooting event you had a range day okay, there okay now okay. it's going to be at the venetian expo whatever it, it, it's supposedly in a really nice theater okay like really like oscars -like. okay okay and they okay. said Pretty much mandated, as far as I know. I, I you're don't you're think, supposed to have a suit I, I don't on think or a tux. It's mandated. We'll see. We'll see. I have a nice jean jacket ensemble. I don't think okay. they're gonna let you in. You know, you know, we're gonna go with that nice jean jacket ensemble with the 
wheat nines, because you know I keep I, the J's. Have that. I have the wheat nines. Okay. Guns out hoodie. Okay. I'll be fresh. I'm not gonna be in a tux. You know what? I'll be on the red carpet. If they give you any problems, I'm gonna I'm tell them. I'm gonna tell yeah. them. Listen, yeah, you know man, I'm, good. I'm, with, I'm with Kaya. Yeah. I'm with Classic. You know exactly. You are. You know what? We, we get taken care of. First but off, go get a First off, let's let's address something real quick. Why haven't we come to Classic to do a show yet? That's right. What? What? Uh -uh. Why? I, I asked the question. You okay. can't ask me the question. You know back. what? Say the date. Whenever. How about that? Yesterday. All right. We can do it now. We can literally do it whenever, man. So we're shaking. All right, we're shaking hands right on now. camera. Oh guns out, TV. Class firearms. We're gonna do something together. Sounds good, man. Where's Clint? Yeah. Where's Clint? Clint, he's probably running around. No, he's yeah. uh, he's at Daniel Defense Party. Oh, okay. uh, Defense uh, Range Day. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. So that's it. You know, but he's gonna be. You know that he's hosting the Gundy's. Yeah, you know, I know he's hosting, and he's, he's also gonna wear a tuxedo. I'm presenting most influential male, and yeah. Clint is up for that award. Well, uh, do you think he's gonna get it? Cause he's hosting. You know, here's the thing. Here's the thing. Oh wait. Okay, hold well, on. They, they're telling me I, I had couldn't see it. Face, dog. I didn't see it. <laughs> Did he? Oh, Did you see it? I didn't see it. Yeah. See, men don't pay attention to stuff on our faces. Uh, I guess. We don't care. We look good regardless. Pause. Yo, I'm sorry. Pause. Yeah, pause. Pause. Whoa, whoa. Whoa, whoa. See what happens <laughs> when you get women communicating and wires get crossed. Look, <laughs> hey, I was. I got music. You know what? In my, in my, in my let, let me tell you something. I was looking into his eyes. <laughs> Wait, that's not a bad. Yeah, you see, it gets worse. Once, it you, gets start, worse. once you start tumbling down that <laughs> hill, man, you uh, just. Uh, yeah. right. <laughs> oh, you check you. Yep. <laughs> I'll be damned. All right, man. But anyway. <laughs> All right. Okay, so look, we'll see you guys at the red carpet tonight. Red carpet. Okay, so what time should we arrive? Uh, I believe it starts. 6 p.m., dude. 6 p.m.? 6 p.m. is a good time to get there. It's a good time to get there. I so. We'll be there. So I'll see you. Guns Out TV, red carpet with the with classic firearms. Kai, or is it going to be you and Jason or just you? It's going to be me and Clint. You and Clint? Oh, yeah. so Clint is on the red carpet Clint, and this whole thing. You yeah, know what? He's, he's got that tuxedo. He wants to be on the red carpet. Okay. Well, Jason's going to be with us, too, of course. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Jason's going to be with us. All right. But Clint, he's, he wants his tuxedo. Oh, he just sure. wants you know, Clint has to Clint. Clint, Clint just got has to Clint. Yeah. Okay, Clint is now a verb. Clinton. That's right. wow. He's Clinton. <laughs> That's right. He's All right. Clinton. Clint, keep Clinton, bro. I ain't mad at you. Simplify. Marines. Let's exactly. go. That's how we do. So, all right, brother. Good seeing you. And Always. I'll see you tonight Always at Gundy's with a suit on. All right, here we are at the PTR's booth, and we've got Bill here with us. Bill, thanks for having us. My pleasure. And Jason over here. Hey, how you doing, boss? Glad you came out. All right, Bill. So, you've got a brand spanking new Spresser, new technology. Like, what did you say? Movie quiet? Oh, that's Tell a new term that we're coining right now. Okay. This, the Vent 2 9mm, literally, movie quiet. And, and I've been hearing that. Like, pe people have been shooting this one, right? Over there? Yeah. And it's insane. <laughs> not that. <laughs> not that one. <laughs> not that. It is, it that's is not ours, guys. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's insane. So, Quickly tell us about the suppressor, and if you don't mind, I'd love to shoot it with Jason. Absolutely. So we're 3D printed titanium here. But what's so special is 3D printed titanium foam on the inside. Wow. It is a game changer, guys. It's something the industry won't catch up to for decades. Okay. 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 And yep. it's obviously patented. Oh, I treat you guys. There are multiple patents, six or seven patents inside of this. Okay. But what speaks for itself is you shooting it. Let's get you over and get you behind some of this. Let's these. do it. I can hear it. Look at that. No, you can't hear it. That's right. I can't. I can't. What is that? <laughs> right, let's do it's it. a staple gun, is what that yes. is. Let's do it. <laughs> you got All it, guys. Right. Let's go. Okay. Everything on this gun is stock except for the, what we just added to it. Got to. Okay. I'm looking forward to this. I tell you what, I've been in love with this gun for 10 yeah. years since I first saw it at the U.S. show. Yeah. And then to be able, part of the team that's bringing it in, yeah. just excites the hell out of me. And believe it or not, sorry to say, this is my new carry gun. Really? I got one of the first ones. It's my new carry. Our, our that's a good sign. Dude, that actually feels really good. Four different grip textures are available. Has different back swells. We can extend or lengthen the grip yeah. as you need. Yep. Add a mag well. It's all there. Comes with the gun. Nice looking suppressor too. Let's so this is our new PIP suppressor. All right. Right now the number one rated nine millimeter suppressor in the nation by Pew Science. Independent test. Yes, he's really good. Now shout out to Pew Science. He's I'll tell you what, it's fantastic. Yeah. All right, so Jason, you want to get that mic close to this? Let's let's see how it sounds. Oh my God. You gotta try this. Uh, that it sounds so good. <laughs> Go ahead, man. Get after it. Oh, 
Wow. What do you think? I love it. I I had an Archon Type B for the longest time, and I still love it. So it's. Uh, I've been in love with it. It's yeah, great. this firearm is great. This trigger on it is amazing. Um, bar none, one of the lowest bore axes as well. So yeah, this this really is amazing. This can is is quiet. So yeah, solid, yeah. solid. The, the, the gun itself is awesome. I know we were here for the suppressor, but that gun, amazing, Patrick. But this is the new PTR 63. This okay. is the new 5.56 rifle. Okay. Oh my god. Now, it's going to behave. Use a standard Stenek. It's got a bolt, so everybody reaches up, grabs that charging handle. We got a bolt catch here. Okay, Slap wow. the bolt catch. We got a paddle release. Wow. AR grip, AR trigger guard, standard HK packs, ready to go. So it's also going to use our Vent 3 patented suppressor. Give it a try. I already love the PTR 91 308. 5.56 is going to be. Even better. Wow. It's so soft. It's so soft. Like Isn't there's, it no amazing? there's nothing to it. Man, so we were uh, lucky enough to have an original G41, which was the military contract weapon, and we also had the uh, HK33. Okay. So we hybridized the design from both of those to come up with this weapon. This, you gotta shoot this. Dude, I gotta try yeah. this. All right. All right. Ah. Okay, this is, uh, this is incredible, dude. I mean, there's no recoil. This thing shoots amazing, super quiet. I love this thing. I love the PTR 91, the 308. I shoot it all the time, G3, right? Like, this is just another level. I love this thing. So now what I want to try is the MP5. So this is the 9CT, what is this? Yes, so it's a 9CT, basically it's a MP5 clone. Yep. So everything on it's compatible with the MP5. Magazines, stocks, and all that stuff. It looks amazing with that awesome suppressor. The quietest movie quiet suppressor. Yeah, I'm gonna try it. I call it the staple gun. Staple gun. That sounds yes. better. So yeah. you t you try it and tell me what you think. Okay, let's do it. Jason, there we go. Five rounds. All right. Let's see. I'm hard to see. We really. This is this this is insane. This is probably the best gun I've ever fired. Pressed. Mm. Incredible. Okay, you do it and let, tell me what you think. This is insane. Okay, so there you go. So, yeah, what'd you think? In the best suppressed gun I think I've ever fired. So I'm not joking. I've had people come up here and pull the trigger, and they looked at me and they thought the gun wasn't firing. It was that quiet. Yep. Yeah. No, literally the best, the best suppressed gun I've ever fired. Quiet. No recoil, instant. You let me know, dude. All right, go ahead. Let's, let's check it out. This is insane. Five rounds. Yep. Takes time though. There's only five rounds. Wow. Yeah. Wow. The gun wants to get the target. The only problem is us. Yeah. <laughs> Okay. Yeah. Was he right? <laughs> this is this is this is softer than any any variant that I've ever felt before. Um, recoil impulse is nothing. De absolutely deleted. Quiet, soft, feels good, and the action is just smooth. I mean, it doesn't get any more buttery than, than this. Seriously. I'm, I'm blown away by that. It is so funny, the Hollywood guns were all like sci-fi, like they were just making things sound like this. Finally, a PTR obviously caught up to Hollywood. That's literally what happened here. Now the question is, do you guys make a SD version? Of this? Well, you can talk to that gentleman Bill right over there. He okay. can tell you about that okay. question. Uh -oh. okay. I just shoot, I like to shoot guns. Yeah. Okay. Shoot, you'll shoot all day. <laughs> I, I'm with it. I'm with it.
But uh, so did you see the K version down there? No. Did you, uh, so there's a K version on that table. Okay. Okay. Yeah. But I mean, I I kind of like the full length because okay. you get that extra velocity yeah. and you know, and then you can put a flashlight or something. Right. If you want. Okay. But, yeah, there is a K version. Right okay. There. Gotta yeah. check that out. Yeah. But yeah. Well, this, this one is money. <laughs> yeah, for it's, sure. You just got to have one, don't yeah, you? I do, I do. You got to have. I got to Jason, have you ever fired a suppressed gun that is softer, quieter than this? I will talking about that kind of long gun, not a little pieces. No, it's, there's a perfect balance going on, and, and for me, that's that's where the money is, the jazz is. It's 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 right there. I have something that came close, but not like this. Not yeah. like this. Yeah. yeah, fantastic. I agree with that, for sure. Well, Gordon, thank you so much for your time, man. Appreciate Absolutely. you. Thank you. Yeah. Come, come to the booth. Yes, sir. Will do. Will Absolutely. do. Right. Thank you. That's insane. That's absolutely insane. All right, here we are at the Flux Defense booth, and we've got Alex here with us. Alex, thanks for having us, man. Hi. And we've got Jason over here. Hey, doing, What's up? All right, so. Alex, a couple days ago, Little Birdie told us, hey, you know, there's a new uh, product that you guys have. Yeah. An improved version of the old school one from last year. Yeah, exactly. Tell us about it. Okay, so we have a Gen 1.5 for the Raider. Okay. It's not a full, like, reimagining because as is, the design was pretty much exactly what we wanted it to, to be. It's just that some fit and finish and some of the controls we wanted to change. So we did that. We added some pick rails, uh, extra pick rail slots here and there to accept more lights and... and uh, more optic mounts. So that was a quality of life improvement for most of our customer base and anybody who wanted to jump in it brand new. So, and then we also offered an FDE for the first time, which everybody, you know, everybody loves that. The thing nowadays. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. yeah. So now that we've got the uh, the P320 Raider, kind of the way we want it, the way we've always wanted it, it's why we moved over to the 365 now to uh, now give an offering of the 365 yeah. uh, chassis system. So this is coming quarter one. Um, we don't know exactly when in quarter one, but okay. it is aluminum 7075. Um, this is just a chassis, same as the P320 for the 365. You put your uh, fire control unit in there, slap on whatever slide you already had, whatever barrel you already had. It takes two magazines just like the regular Raider yep. and then this time we have a uh, spring-loaded side folder yeah. um, just to keep it as slim as possible because we know if we did the telescoping it would have been a little bit thicker and That's the right. whole point of this is like, it always kind of is side by side yeah, yeah. yeah. this always kind of is uh, an executive protection type role but every civilian has executive protection for themselves like that's that's their role so we have holsters for this one. It's going to be coming at launch for inside waistband, which is funny to think about to have a whole PDW chassis in a inside waistband, but you can. It's so slim. Yes. So, yes. And then an outside waistband holster, all, all the same. So um, just have a nice little folder that clips in and spring loaded. Dude, can I try it a little bit? Yeah, go ahead. Uh, you want to hold it? All right, so obviously we're going to be. So you press this. Press that so down, I, I grab this thing. So. Out. And I'm just, oh, it is super sturdy too. Yeah. It's not flimsy at all. It's actually really sturdy. And then you press, how do you, uh, oh, Down right here. there, yeah, to unlock it. And it's pretty good. So it's just like that. You just deploy it and you just press right here. So. Yeah. All right, man, this is good. So I like it. We also wanted to show people that it's, I mean, with a suppressor, it's the same size as a regular P320 Raider. I think even with just the pistol brace. Wow. And it's a lot thinner, so. I see. Okay. It is by far very, very slim profile compared to the old Raider. Let me let me actually show it this way. Hold on. Yeah. That way for the camera. Uh, so this is the old one, and this is the new guy. I mean, look at the difference. Yeah. Significant. So it's pretty good. So and you said this is not available yet. Quarter one. Quarter one this year. Yeah. So, Jason, check this out, yeah. man. This is really cool. And you, can you tell MSRP on this or no? Uh, I, we haven't figured it out okay. yet because we're like, I mean, we're going to figure out our, our production batches now. So I guess we'll finally know how much it's going to cost. But I mean, granted, our stuff's always been pretty affordable. Even the, the Raiders around $500. So 
being aluminum, I'm sure it's going to be a little bit nicer. But yeah. Slimmer yeah. profile. Yeah. And I really love that with the original, obviously, that mag change. Yeah. Just so yeah. fast, man. Same system, our patented dual mag release system. So, yeah, I mean, it's just for a, a system this small to have, I think, 35 rounds on tap is pretty good. You know. so first of all, let's mention that this is a full size light on this gun. Yeah, yeah. So that, that right there, you're not using a small little TLR7, you're little, yeah. using a full X300, that, that's money. Right. That's awesome. Um, we'll have a pistol brace model or version. It's just the end thing, so you just switch it out to pistol brace. Okay. Two different stock lengths. This is the full size stock. We'll have a, a more flush stock. But, oh yeah, and then we'll have a little shroud to protect your fingers if you don't have a longer barrel. If you don't wow. have a long, oh, Yeah, so and that will come with it. Uh, yeah. It's hard to right? Okay. Yeah. Wow. Alright, before we get out of here, of course we're gonna shoot these things, obviously, but you got something else that hit the market with a big bang and this little adjustment LPVO thing. Yeah. What is it? So this is the antimatter industry scope switch. It is a sister company of Flux Defense. Same owners, but they're just mad geniuses and want to just keep engineering things. So yeah. <laughs> So the whole point of this was to have a uh, something you could do without pulling your hand back and adjusting your magnification. So um, if you're trying to get in really close quickly, PID is the biggest thing, uh, hunters as well. But just to be able to not break your line of sight or your aim and just adjust your magnification was something that we always thought should have existed. Yeah. It exists in video games, you just don't think about it, you just hit a button and it happens. Yeah, yeah. Well, this is now what that is. So we launched this uh, maybe half a year ago and we always knew that people wanted a manual version but also people want an electrical ver or a, a motorized version yeah, motorized, yeah. because although this is awesome and i do like this it does take a lot of real space depends if you're running a lot of yeah. stuff so we have our electronic scope switch that we're showing off this year which just which oh, is show you. i'm curious about that yeah right so um there's a motor in here okay. it's pretty quick it's belt driven and does the exact same thing. We have some switches up there. It's just one cable that will run along here and just a little switch with a plus and a minus. Wow. So you just... So you just plus, plus, minus, and it will magnify and then come back. And the speed is probably just one speed? Back. Yeah, one speed, but it's actually faster than we thought it would be. We picked a pretty good motor, and it's okay. pretty quiet. Okay. So, um, Again, people who run thermals, it'd just be nice to have a button to just go up and back. Is it waterproof? Yep, waterproof. Um, we are using USB-C right here for our okay. switches, kind of like how Unity does. Um, it's waterproof as well. So That is super cool, man. Right, so switch or crane compatible? Or? Um, I think it's going to be proprietary right now. I'd have to check. I'm not quite sure. Um, but we do have four ports on there. Not, not USB-C? I mean, that is USB-C. Oh, wow. <laughs> the whole world is doing that. Yeah. yeah, but just waterproof and ruggedized. Awesome. So. Well, I, it's awesome stuff, man. Thanks a lot. Can we shoot it? Yeah. yeah. Let's do it. Oh, I'm sorry. I forgot I was at work. Um, <laughs> <laughs> forgot I was at work. What? Guys, we're here at the Flux booth, um, along with Antimatter, with their, their wing here is... By far, one of the most neat um, accessories you can actually add on to a pit. It folds up, gets out of the way, and it's compatible with damn near almost every um, holster that you have. Safari Land, um, you name it, they've got it. But this is really awesome. Get your, it folds up out of the way, you get your finger on there to get a nice little purchase in case you don't have a ledge or a wing, and you just sit there right there. It's very tactile, very sturdy, feels solid, and I'm, I'm excited to shoot this. It's so awesome. So. All right. Do you think you can shoot this thing really fast? I don't know if I can. I don't, I don't know. This ah, I don't like the confidence thing, man. Come on. I'm, I'm going to try. I'm right. going to try. Let's do it. All right, you ready? Go. It's the pressure. And that's that. Hold on. There you go. Jason, what happened, man? The finger wasn't working on this one. It's cold. It's a little chilly, but... Other than that, this wing is awesome. It really does keep it down. I, I, you, yeah, you gotta try this. Yeah. Shoot's incredible, dude. 
You are not kidding, Jason. Yeah. This, when your hand is right here, it's so stable. Love this thing. Look at this thing. All right, look at the tail right here. The wind. I believe if I throw this, it'll probably catch flight. <laughs> That's what I'm thinking. It's really awesome. He says he needs a redemption. Not there, not there. No. A little bit of freeze. Yes. Hey, good, good try, good try. I can't get it. Fingers not warmed up today, but this swing going on any firearm to me is just amazing. Like seriously, Kai, this. That is an amazing. Yeah. No, it really is. It really is. I, I'd never seen this before. This is the first time I saw it. And guys, by the way, we apologize. The really tight space we're trying to make it work yeah. here. But uh, this wing is an amazing, wow. amazing addition. I love it. All right, you want to shoot that 365? Let's do it. All right. Oh, I was just saying, trade off. Hey, hey, I'm getting my line now. I'm here for me, Daddy. Hey, Jason? Okay. For PID, oh so quickly. It's amazing. Hey, uh, for people who don't know, PID. Uh, uh, positive identification uh, at distance. This is amazing. You can see it in real time. It's happening at your fingertips. This is by far a, one of the most impressive devices I've actually ever seen. You know um, what I'm curious about that one, Jason? You know it happens, battery dies, break, whatever. Does it manually move? So that's a good question that we probably need to ask them. Um, I would love to know. Oh, you can. Yeah, it looks like you can. Yeah. That's, that's pretty good. Wow. And it comes back. There we go. Yeah. So we've got that. Yeah. Fantastic. Yeah, man. You got to try this. You have to try this. All right. Just incredible. I can't it's literally a cheat code. I can't believe this is so good. It's literally a cheat code. I love this. You know what? I'm adding this to my list yeah. on some of the top five stuff that later on I'm going to talk about. Yeah. All right. All right. Look at the day, walking at the park. Oh, shit, son. Nobody messes with the president. Uh, <laughs> pretty cool. This is so cool, man. Yeah. There you go. You got the little holster right here. Just take it off and auto deploys. Good to go. Love it. All right, guys, here we are at the Zenith Firearms booth, and we've got Nathan here with us and Jason. Hey. So, Nathan, you told us that you've got this new 5.56 ZF556 yep. that is going to be revolutionary. Tell yes. us why. So it is the roller blade rifle of the 21st century. So this rifle has everything you know and love about roller delayed firearms, you know, super soft recoil, very reliable, very accurate, and very easy to suppress. But we, what we've been able to do is upgrade the, you know, roller delayed system by adding a last round bolt hole open function, which is, you know, yeah. insane yeah. Uh, for, you know, a rifle of this, you know, this kind. Like no one else does it. It's a whole new design. It's compatible with AR-15 style uh, magazines as well as grips and furniture. It's got AR-15-like uh, controls, so there's not, it's not going to be hard to pick up and learn how to use it. Um, also, you know, got some MP5 style uh, safety and trigger pack and MP5 you know, roller delayed style caulking uh, handle. So you got your back back here. So the charging yep. handles on the other side, is yep, that right reversible? Here. 
Uh, yes, it will be able. To, uh, we will be able to reverse it. Yes. Okay, that is pretty cool. And it's Chamber in five five six. Mm -hmm. And uh, can I can I grab it real quick? Go Just right ahead. Jason. Yeah. Okay, so this is actually not bad. I thought it was going to be heavier. No, it's uh, made from seven hundred series uh, forged aluminum. So it's light, but it's built like a tank. Okay. So that's a non-reciprocating charging handle. Wow. Okay. Okay. That is that is really cool. It doesn't weigh much at all. Do you know how much it weighs? Uh, right. Not off the top of my head, but you know, it's it's light. Pretty cool. Roller blade. So this has got to be recoiling. I mean, five five six in itself is already not a really heavy recoiling gun. No, it's not. The cartridge. So this should be a lot softer. Yeah. I would love Big to time. shoot it. Do you have any questions, Jason? I heard 300 blackout. Yes, so <laughs> later this year we will be releasing it, the 5.56 version and the 300 blackout version uh, in April. And that's something I've never heard before, roller delayed 300 blackout. I think you just unlocked a new kink for me. This is wonderful. <laughs> so, well, What do you think? Should we shoot it? Yeah, we should definitely Let's shoot it. Let's do it, man. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you need to shoot this guy. I would love to. Yeah, you need to shoot this. Yeah. Nice foot lock to the rear. He's dropping the egg like he would. Just like that. It is, it is super. It is super smooth. Very smooth. All right, here we are at PWS. We've got Corey here with us. Corey, thanks for having us. Really appreciate it. And Jason as well yep, over man. here. So, Corey, you've got this really cool design. Just run us through it. What is it? So, what we have is the UXR. The UXR stands for Universal Exchange Rifle. It allows you to do caliber conversions from 5.56 to 308, um, all in one weapon platform. So, really, what it is, it's a barrel, a bolt, and a mag weld that allows you to change um, from 5.56 to maybe an SR25 or 308 mag weld, all the way back and uh, interchange the mag weld to an AK rocker style mag weld. Um, the firearm platform itself has the, um, the full stock capability, adjustable length of pull, adjustable cheek piece, as well as ambidextrous controls that really allows the, the weapon to be manipulated in multiple, multiple ways. Um, the, the firearm is going to be released in 556, 300 blackout, and 308, um, and we're starting to ship in the middle of February. And then every quarter we're going to come out with new calibers. In fact, right now I'm working on the 86 blackout, 65 Creedmoor, and the 76239. Wow, fantastic! So you're saying it's a multi-caliber, so people just buy the barrel, bolt, bolt, and Mag well. magazine well. So in this case, I see. This is for 5.56, yep. a little narrow, obviously 308 would be a lot larger. How does that work? Yes, and so if you look at the bottom here, you can see the magwell has room to, to go. Yes. And so my 308 magwell is longer in the back. It still fits in the same space claim that's here now. Okay, so it's this piece right here, this yes. whole thing, right? Yes. All right. So, and you talked about kind of showing us something further, maybe taking it apart or something. Yes, yeah, so I, I can give you the components on the table and we go from there. Yep, let's do that. All right, so we're going to go ahead and break this down and we'll be right back. All right, so we picked the gun apart. It, it, it seems super simple and I see it, the smallest part is this basically, right? Yeah. Which you don't lose stuff, but go ahead and run us through this whole thing, please. So, when we do a caliber conversion, we're really only changing out the bolt head the magazine well and the barrel. And, and just those three components can get you all the configurations for short barrel, for um, calibers. And so you can configure it for something very compact, but yet a very precision rifle all, all in the same day within you know approximately three minutes. That is crazy. I mean, and I was wondering about this when I asked you about the 308 question. Yes. It is just this piece, guys, comes right out, slides right out, super easy. Just put in the adapter or what, mag weld or 308 or whatever other calibers that you have and slides right in really good to go. It seems super simple, so you, you don't really have a lot of little parts where you potentially lose. Uh, that's correct. We really wanted to make this so it passed military top testing, meaning that uh, it can uh, go over the beach, in the mud, you name it, and survive all situations, so you can re really rely on this rifle. 
Wow, super cool. And any, uh, is it available now? So we're going to start shipping this in the middle of February okay. um, with the, those three calibers that I mentioned. And then uh, every every quarter um, we'll, we'll have new calibers. But yes, we're, we're almost available now. Is MSRP available now or no? Yes, $2,500 for the rifle. Now a conversion kit, which is again the barrel, the bolt, and the magwell, is $550. That is amazing. Jason, what do you think, man? So, first thing, this is a serialized portion. That's correct. So that's amazing. So we we're, we can actually change it up different colors, different things that we want to do. Now, my question to you is, will there be an SD version since you guys are PWS? So, I mean... You know, I, I can't give away the secrets, but we'll just say that um, this rifle is really modular and allows us to do a lot, and, and we have a lot of things in the works. So, so you heard it here yes. first, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> maybe <laughs> that maybe is a yes <laughs> we'll, we'll see about that but this this is really cool and it's going to be available soon obviously great price range man i any contracts come so, so we've had opportunity to show a lot of people we've got a lot of feedback and uh, we, we've taken industry feedback to really finalize and develop this rifle so we're really excited to see where it can go um both uh, foreign and domestic wow. Yeah, I, I have a feeling that there's going to be some contracts with this. For sure. For sure. Well, Corey, really appreciate your time, man. Thank, Thank you. you so much. Thank you so much. It's really cool. That's really cool. Recoil impulse is very soft. Um, might have to do with the comp. Ergonomically, it's right there. Adjustable everything, even the cheat comb piece. Um, controls are a little Bren-like, but I'm digging it. Um, other than that, everything on here is modular, so you can break it down. How, how's the balance? The balance, it feels just a little bit front heavy due to being piston driven, but you can you can offset that, you know, gain a little muscle in the back. But, um, yeah, I, I like it. It's solid, solid, solid. Pretty good. Yeah. Makes perfect sense, dude. All right, man. What a blast, dude! It's been a, it's been a day. It's what was your day. favorite? Um, PWS and Flux for sure. Flux definitely their antimatter stuff. That automatic scope switch was really really cool. It dude, really was. You're right, Flux. I mean, I was just not thinking about Flux when, when I was thinking about my favorite. Mm -hmm. Now you kind of threw a curveball at me because they're so good. Yeah. I was thinking about the PTR, man, that MP5 Suppress. Yeah, that PTR was great, but for me, Flux did it for me. I'm, yeah. I'm serious. The P365, yeah. or you want the motorized? Uh, you're the, talking, mo the motorized one. Yeah. Yeah. And, and and you guys probably have already seen what we're talking about. It was insane. They're onto something. Yeah. The only thing I want to know about that is, is it durable? That's it. But I think we'll find out yeah, soon. But anyways, guys, let us know your thoughts. What did you think? Which one did you like the best? You left me. Oh, oh shit. What is going on here? You're not supposed to be here. Yeah, I Put know. Put your nice, shiny tux on and get out of here. Yeah, I know. That's why I had to find you guys first, because you got to get the SD cards. <laughs> oh, OK. Yeah. Who, who was that other guy behind you? He, he was like a little skinny, small guy. There was another guy here? He looked like oh. Ryan Gosling. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're having a little outro. Oh, so, awesome. You had a good time at Daniel Defense? Yeah, Daniel Defense has not only the H9 pistol, but a PCC that I know. Okay. It took me by surprise. It's a soft launch, not... What's, not the, a, what's the operating system? So at first, I was like, OK, it's another direct blowback. AR9, right? Uh -huh. And it is. And uh, but with a hydraulic buffer system, uh, complete ambidextrous controls, and on top of that, CZ mags, Scorpion mags, and it looks sick. Whoa! It looks sick, and it runs freaking good, dude. It runs really good. Well, I must say, we may have checked out an LWRC yeah. AR9 with a hydraulic buffer, buffer system <laughs> just yeah. today. With a, with a Mars lower? Yeah, with a Glock yeah. magazine. Yeah. With Glock magazines, yeah. So it's like, which one which one do you like? You want like Glock know. or CZ? Personally, wow. I love the way the CZ one works. It makes sense. Wow. Yeah, and I've already got plenty of CZ mags and the CZ drum, which runs in it too. So it's like, all right. Oh, and it's not a paddle mag release that you would expect on a CZ. It's a push button. Oh, wow. Yeah. Oh, Typical AR Ambi. Speaking of the whole mag release thing, we checked out Flux, dude, and we were just talking about it. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's Jason, good. go ahead and tell him. What? Aut automatic. Like, automatic. Button, it zooms in, zooms out, 
off for your button. You literally press, zoom Motorized. in, it's super smooth. You guys got footage of it? Yeah. Yes. I guess I'll actually have to watch our video this year. <laughs> <laughs> That's what you gotta do. Well, I think this man has to put his little shiny tux on because he's gonna have to host the Gundies with his expensive watch and cufflinks and earrings, whatever you have. So we gotta get out of here. Yeah, no, no, I gotta get out of here. Where's this SD card at? I need it. Go. <laughs> well, thanks for <laughs> well, thanks for checking this out, guys. Let us know your comments, your thoughts, Jason. Great time. We appreciate your business as always. God bless. And we'll see you on the next one.